out at stitchesquilting.com again, your online quilting fabric store. And I'm here with Emily, my stepdaughter, and we are going to share a story with you of our quilting that we had on January 1st, 2009. Huh, Emily? Yes. And um, uh, we were making this gorgeous brown and pink Mommy? quilt. And we were dealing with all of these different fabrics, and Emily helped pick them out, and it was just, it was really a lot of fun. We're really excited about this project, but a mishap happened. Emily, you want to share what happened? I was sewing, and I sewed a needle through my finger, and I had to go to the hospital. Yes. And so. she said, what did you say when it happened? What? Oh, do you remember what you said when it happened? I was like, yeah. No, no, no. You said something, and I said, oh, no, you didn't just do that. <laughs> I said, Deanna, I just sewed a needle through my finger. And I said, oh, no, you didn't just do that, did you? <laughs> and at any rate, we went to the hospital, and we, this is her x-ray, and you could see the finger went right through her bone. Yeah, the, the needle went right through her finger and through the bone. So it's really good we didn't pull the needle out, huh, Emily? Yes. Because they were able to x-ray it and see that she actually went right through the bone and then they put her on an antibiotic to help her with, um, you know, in case she got a bone infection or whatever. So that happened. This is another, uh, which finger did it happen to, Emily? It happened to this one. Yeah, there we go. So then we took a picture of her afterwards and uh, this is her after she got back and she got the needle removed and you know all that kind of stuff and these are our little socks and because we ran out of the house with no shoes on huh and went to the hospital <laughs> yeah. so they had to give us socks so we took her pictures and we printed them off on fabric and on we're gonna finish this quilt because Emily's gotten over her fear of sewing and uh, she's a brave girl go Emily high five you're the woman <laughs> And, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to sew these pictures on the back. We're going to sew her two little sockies on the back of it, too. One can be for her iPod Touch to listen to music at night, and the other one can be for her cell phone. So while she's sleeping at night or watching TV, she's got both little pockets for it. And once again, this is how we're, we're pinning them by four and going like that. And these are the rest of the fabrics that she's going to add to this. So we'll show you in just a minute what we're going to be doing and then the end project. So it's going to be fun. Thank you. Catch one. Oh, here we are sewing once again. <laughs> Emily's working on her quilt. You can put a little more speed on there if you care to. We are not pinning these because it's just basic cotton. Emily's sewn quite a little bit and it'll be just fine. Before she finishes that and cuts it off, we're going to string feed these like this and feed another one through. Hey, Emily. And we also have a dog that's snuggling us down here by the by the the foot oh, pedal. <laughs> Which probably isn't the safest thing, but we got a big giant black lab down there that loves to sleep underneath the sewing machines. And there she is! Quilting again! She's such a good girl, I love her. At any rate, we're gonna get this finished and then we'll show you our finished project. All right, we finished this quilt top that Emily had the needle go through her finger. <laughs> Good job, Ems. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> I love this quilt top. It's just so whimsical. It's very fun. Um, it's the pinks and the blues and the different textures of the fabrics. We've got some um, corduroy going on in here. We've got some minkies, some chenille. I think it's fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and finish this segment of our video. There will be kits available for sale for this quilt um, at stitchesquilting.com. But we want to go ahead and close off this segment. The next segment that we have, we will teach you how to layer a quilt and how to stretch it out and layer it. And then the segment after that, we're going to teach how to machine quilt a quilt with a team that's something fun and simple to do. So we'll see you next time. Thanks, Emily. Thanks.